Hey yo, what is going on viewers of the tube? My name is Tyler and welcome to the channel that keeps the good content flowing while the hair and beard just keeps growing and growing. If Bitcoin doesn't go up soon, I'm gonna have to resort to hoeing. It's time for Chico Crypto. Hot damn, the Bitcoin price is going up and down and all around. Pulling out the seven day chart, Bitcoin looks kind of bullish and has bounced off the 9600 support level, gaining over $1,000 in just four days since popping off on September 2nd. But then toward the end, dump. Yes, Bitcoin got dumped at the 10,800 resistance, back down to the $10,500 range. Now, this 10,800 level is a tough resistance because on August 21st, the price broke down, resulting in this last little depression. Thus, pushing back through this would be a very bullish sign for the short-term outlook on the price, which, based on the previous price collapse, which happened between August 4th and August 13th, would put the new resistance levels at 11,400 and then around 12K. Will it push up or will it break back down to 9,600 support? I don't know, I shoot these videos one day in advance. So what's the reason for these wild movements? Well, there were a couple big events that happened that could possibly tie together. Yesterday, there seemed to be one of the biggest transfers in the history of crypto. One billion USD worth of Bitcoin was moved from an unknown wallet to another unknown wallet. Whale Alert announced this move on Twitter and it was 94,504 Bitcoin that was moved to an unknown destination. And right away it got the crypto world coming up with theories of who did it and why. Also, the balance got onto the Bitcoin rich list as the richest non-exchange wallet at number five. So who was this? Well, one theory that started to spread was this was backed and this was a deposit for their warehouse wallet. As yesterday, they announced the warehouse was open for customer deposits and withdrawals. Well, researchers from token analysis were able to track the flow of funds and what they came up with shines a clear picture on the transfers. The funds flowed mostly from Huobi addresses, sent and mixed to hundreds of other addresses which all came back and accumulated to a couple of addresses and finally back to just one. Then if you zoom in on the flow of Bitcoin, it can be concluded that a third of the Bitcoin came directly from Huobi. The amount of Bitcoin didn't tap into the Huobi cold storage reserves as the address is public and its balance has stayed stagnant for months. It's hard to say if this person is related to the Huobi exchange or if it's an outside whale trader getting ready to make some big moves. Although it's hard for me to believe an outside whale trader not connected to the exchange would hold over 30,000 BTC on Huobi, worth over $333 million. Thus, I think it's someone connected to the Huobi exchange, and this is their Bitcoin, their own profits, and the reason they are aggregating these transactions is they are getting ready to liquidate them via OTC, maybe via some of the big institutional products coming like Bach. Thus, that Bach deposit theory does hold a little bit of weight, and that type of initial activity for backed would be a bullish signal. But there may be another reason for these movements, and this ties into the manipulation of Bitcoin Google searches. This week, there has been a massive leap in Google searches for BTC, which has always been a lower search term compared with Bitcoin. Search volume for BTC around the world is now higher than it was even at the peak of the 2017 bull run, which like I showed yesterday, the term Bitcoin isn't even close to that level. So why is this happening? Well, researchers at Cryptographin.com came up with the theory that Romania may be the cause of this. If you limit the search for BTC to just the past couple of weeks, you can see the activity spiked on August 29th. And if you zoom in further, the activity has been coming in with suspicious waves over the past seven days. According to Cryptographin researchers, Romania was the country with the biggest change in searches for BTC last week, and they had a very similar wave pattern, which spiked at 3 a.m. their time every night, which seemed very odd. Although this pattern was applicable to other countries, United States, Hong Kong, Argentina, Thailand, and others. So what is actually going on? Well, it's safe to assume that someone or some entity is behind these changes. And since the pattern can be seen all over the world, it must be some VPN service used to distribute the search across the world, achieving a global trend. But why? 
Well, somebody is trying to game the trading algorithms, as there are many trading algos programmed to crawl for Google Trends data as they try to find the patterns between searches for the word BTC and the movement of the Bitcoin price. What could be happening is the person is doing this, buying Bitcoin at a lower price, then sending a ton of BTC search queries to Google at the dead of night to have the most impact. Trading algos see the search numbers have risen and are triggered to buy up Bitcoin, which pushes the price up, and the sneaky Samson sells their Bitcoin for profit, crashing the price down, which just happened when I was shooting this video. Hmm. Now this episode is not all about Bitcoin. I'm bringing some updates on one of my favorite altcoins, Chainlink. Chainlink has settled back down since the epic pumped to over $4 and now sits at about $1.80. Chainlink is one of the few coins who were around that surpassed its 2017 bull run peak, and I'm extremely happy having it as one of my top holds. Many other holders got caught up in the hype and bought toward the top of $4 and are getting frustrated with the recent performance, with some dumb chats even calling it vaporware with no use case. Well, to refute that, all you need to do is check out Chainlink documentation and check out the decentralized Oracle's mainnet and you can see the oracles Chainlink promotes. And if you dive into each of their addresses, you can see they are processing job requests as transactions are happening often. Another way to see that Chainlink is actually being utilized is to dive into F Gas Station, which now has a rating of the top 25 dApps who spend the most Ethereum gas over the past 30 days. This feature just came out on August 19th, and Chainlink was the number five Ethereum dApp using just over 55K in gas over the past 30 days, meaning the oracles were doing what they are supposed to do. But if we check this out today, Chainlink has now moved to number four, spending over 62K, meaning the oracle network is growing. And here is a nice website to visualize this with each Chainlink contract and the number of transactions happening. As you can see, since mainnet launch in May, it has been exploding, even surpassing 4K daily transactions late in August. Well, viewers, the link haters will continue to hate, but the facts are it's going to be one of the most utilized projects in existence. Give it another six months, and I bet you it's the number one gas-sucking dApp on F Gas Station, and the number of transactions will have tripled. Cheers, viewers. I'll see you next time.